For routine maintenance of the air rotor, you will require the following tools. A 5mm Allen key supplied with the machine, a door key supplied with the machine, a grease gun with flexible nozzle and loaded with LM grease, an industrial vacuum cleaner, a face mask and an optional item is a torch. The machine must be isolated from its power source when conducting routine maintenance. On a daily basis, the dust tray which is found in the bottom compartment of the extraction unit should be emptied once or twice a day, dependent on usage. On a weekly basis, the drum should be removed from the cabinet and the opportunity taken to check the shop for contamination that the drum drive rollers, idler bearings and lid seal are intact. The drum drive mechanism of the air rotor is on the front shaft and is supported by two sets of sealed bearings which should be greased on a monthly basis with standard LM bearing grease. The right hand bearing is located in the electrical control panel with access through the locked door. The left hand bearing is located within the extraction unit. The bearings need only a very light application of grease until it is seen oozing out of the bearing case. After removing the access panels from the front of the machine, grease the other two trough bearings in the same manner as described previously. Located in the extraction compartment on the left hand side is a multi-pocket filter. This should be manually shaken using the external handle after each cleaning cycle. If the filter is replaced, ensure it is securely fitted at the base and the top ties fitted to the top of the bag are tied, but still allowing movement for the bag beater. Check door seals for good all-around seal. With the rear panel removed, it's possible to check the drive belt for any cracks, damage and correct tension. Belt tension can be gauged by twisting the belt sideways, any more than 45 degrees, and an adjustment is required. With the barrel removed, it's possible to check the shop for contamination and any foreign bodies which will affect the machine's cleaning ability. Also check paddles for cracks and wear. Two more bearings can be found to the rear of the machine. These are sealed for life and do not require greasing. Just check they rotate freely. Opposite these bearings are two drum drive rollers. Check these for damage and wear. More detailed information can be found in the maintenance manual supplied with the air rotor.